M0FXB, quick one here, playing a bit of radio as usual. Now, what it is, I've got this Raspberry Pi case. Now, you can buy these for about £3, okay? I'll put a link in the description for that. Raspberry Pi, this is the two, but Raspberry Pi 3B is the one I recommend. 3B, okay, and they're about, second hand, about £25, maybe £30 on somewhere like eBay. You're also going to need a SD card, but anything will do, like an 8GB, 4GB, you don't need much, because you're going to need that to make your Pi Star hotspot. Now, this is what the hat looks like. Of course, you can buy an OLED screen that you just solder here as a little blue TV screen, but you don't actually have to have it. You can also see the way the antenna is here. You know, normally you'd have like, like so. You don't actually need that. You can buy a little springy antenna that we just solder to the center core there. And you could actually tuck it under here, like a springy antenna. Uh, and so it, it's all completely enclosable in this case. So then next thing you do is grab your case, program your SD card with PiStar. So just Google PiStar, you download and you put an image on here using a, a program called Bellina Etcher. It's all really straightforward. I've got loads of videos doing it. So you've got the image on there that's going to run your Raspberry Pi computer as a hotspot or many other, you know, many other programs. It doesn't have to be that. I, I tend to use mine as a, this one as a DV switch server. So it will send out a DV switch signal. And then I, you can use an app on your phone and, and the audio quality is literally perfect. I'll see if I can fire it up at the end of this video. Anyway, let's just put that into, actually we'll put the SD card in last. So the first thing you'll do is pop this into your case. So just remember which side the SD card is. SD card, look at the bottom, and the SD card just slips in there. Look for the slot, the slot is here. Now they, they are quite a tight fit, but that's, I think, a good thing, because it means, you know, it's gonna fit nice. So micro USB for power, HDMI out. Is that the ear speaker, I would say? Then you've got, that's the nice thing about Raspberry Pis, you've got Ethernet if you need it, you don't have to use Wi-Fi, and four USBs. I just think they're fantastic. These are called GPIO pins, and we actually do use them with our hotspots. Now, if I just fit the hotspot here, like so, it's it will fit nice, but probably, um, you know, the case isn't going to fit. Okay, probably. Oh, actually, I've been lucky in this case. It has, it does fit. That's excellent. So that makes it a lot easier for your hotspot. Now, you don't need a screen. Could you squeeze a screen in there? Solder it on here and just about tuck underneath there? I think yes. So the only thing that's holding you back, really, is the antenna. And I, I'll try and find a link for those antennas that you can solder straight